Hey Rep Bags, it's Jay today with a upper yard guide, mainly for people that are just about to explore. These are the five major locations you want to visit at the very first to get yourself some upgrades, get yourself some resources and think about going and exploring the more dangerous parts. It's still pretty dangerous where I'm going to show you. We're going to run into black ops beetles, loads of fire ants, ladybirds and ladybird larvae. But honestly, follow my steps, go to all five of these locations in this video when you first get to the upper yard and you'll come away with over eight or nine milk molars, some mega milks and a bunch of tier three and tier two quartzite and marble. Leave a like, make sure you subscribe for the best in grounded guides and let's go. So I'm actually going to show you the shortcut up to the upper yard. You may have got there already, but it's still worth going through as this is absolute massive amounts of upgrade materials. The entrance is obviously near the science outpost, just in that middle flower bed. You will find an absolute ton of the ladybird larvae. So they're not exactly that easy to defeat. There's absolutely like 20 in here at least. But make sure you bring fresh weapons. And that's a good tip for most of the upper yard. Anything with fresh damage is going to do a lot of damage against the ladybird larvae, the fire ants, and it's not too bad against some of the other bigger creatures too. It's not the most complex little shortcut. I have done a separate little guide for it already. Go and check it out. But you'll get at least two milk molars at least one tier three quartzite and one tier three of the marble and a ton more of the lower tiers. You are gonna need a tier three ax though and for the rest of this video also, and maybe some bombs. You'll emerge in a trench and you're now in the upper yard and you basically gotta follow the flagstones. Keep the flagstones on the right and you can't really go wrong. You'll go past pretty much every area I'm about to show you in the game. So you come to this place here, it is absolutely jam packed for the mushrooms you can find it just by this little water source but even more importantly than that you need to go and investigate the actual pipe here grab some of the toenails and to keep going down using a tier 3 axe to break through this if somehow you've got any explosive arrows before finding this cave then you can go and do it much easier but otherwise you can do it with just some regular grenades You've got 500 raw science, and the idea is we've got to break that rock that is just there. Science is surprisingly awesome. Careful not to blow yourself up. If you get stuck on the actual roof, obviously the bomb will go off. And you've got to get it close enough. So just about where that root is underneath. Or not. I could have been a pro and left that out, but I'm showing you my fails too. Let's try that one more time. And there you go, you should be able to break the rock. It might take two bombs if you don't get it close enough. So obviously get the supreme marble on the way. And there shouldn't be any enemies inside this cave. What you will find is some water that we're going to have to swim down into. There's nothing else really here. Through here. And now, because we've blown a hole in that cave, we'll be able to get up. And absolute tons of supreme quartzite. And of course a milk molar. Then to exit out, just simply go to the right and drop down into the water again. Next up, we want to stick to the actual slabs on the right hand side. And just keep going down these little areas. Or to avoid more danger, stay on the slabs. We'll come across some bones where you can get some gum. Now buy this gum, we're not just here for the fun of it. There is a small little tunnel where you'll find some pupa. And if you keep going all the way through and around, it will take you to the puzzle ball. Now I call it the puzzle ball, it's not that much of a puzzle. You've got to knock it down here, then use it to get across to the other ledges. There's no enemies in this one either, just keep running around. You should be able to pretty much use any weapon. Then just in case of knocking it over, and knocking it down. Let it roll gently. And now begins pain. You're going to have to get it just over so you can actually get on top of it. Swing all the way back round. Drop down. And then get on top of it. Now you've got to hit it a bunch of times and stay on it as it moves. It can be tough. A good way to do it is to actually go backwards and hit the back of the ball. And that should take you close enough. Ceilings are really tight so sometimes you can hit your head when trying to get these. So be on the lookout for that. But we're not finished there. We need to go and get that milk molar. Hit the back of it. And it should get it to go. Then you've just got to try it and control it. And then basically turn and go with the flow. Just like that. 
And there you go, another milk molar. When you get outside, you might see down a little alleyway the little science outpost head towards it. And from here, you've got a solid save point. You've got a deeper jungle where you encounter more of the fire ants. But what we're really looking for is a way into this tub. Let's go ahead and get all the milk molars inside, as well as a brand new accessory. In fact, one of the best accessories in the game. If you head back to the flagstones, you should find this blue cap here. And this is how you're going to get in. So just make sure you've got your tier 3 axe with you still. I'll show a complete map at the end of the video as well, but just here in case. And go ahead and loot the skeleton. Seems you weren't the only one trying to survive in the backyard. Plenty of ominous staff have been here as well, and you get the intern badge. This is the one that's going to give you 15 hauling strength without wearing any other kind of armor or using any kind of smoothie. But it does slow you down the speed that you're walking. And then at the end, you've got the tub filled with the milk molars. And this is where I was saying you can have an infinitely impregnable base. Nothing will be able to get inside here. Also, you can't really miss it. There's a night light stuck pretty close to this. And if you hear the squeals, you've got a moth on top of it. So it might be an okay place to try to take it on. The jungle bushes might actually stop it from doing its headbutt swooping on you. So, like I said, keep following this path along, sticking to the stones to avoid most of the dangers and red ants and stuff. But past the blue cap, and you should see a big juice carton and, of course, Christie's pink car. And inside, you'll find an absolute ton of sturdy quartzite, as well as getting some of the sour wormhole, not to mention a mega milk. All three of these places are super close to each other just here. I'm not going to cover it today because I consider it quite a big area. But yes, obviously you've got the big area with the new berry bushes. Also, just a little FYI, this is where you can get a brand new milk molar that got added in the pond wall. Just here. So either float down or build from down below. At the actual bottom of the car, you might want to actually go into the exposed pipe that's here. You'll find some more upgrade rocks at either end and no enemies. After this point, the area is going to get a lot more harder. You're going to encounter more of the fire ants. You might come across all spiders, lots more ladybirds as well, and block ox beetles. So I'd probably make a return with the loot you've got rather than explore the jungles any further. There's also a ton more mushrooms around these parts too. You'll also come across Girth's body. So if you've been wondering, where the rest of his body was, well now you know. So absolute ton of the ladybird larvae here in these parts. This is also where you're going to find the mixer. And that's really it. So that is a little tour of the south of the upper yard. Five locations you should absolutely visit first off, get tons of upgrades and get you prepared for going into the much more dangerous northern parts of the upper yard. I'll check out a guide for that very soon. Until then, laters.